Welcome back, guys, to another edition of RSTS Express Wrestling. I'm your host, MVP Shear. One, dude, what is what the motherfucker? You, do you hear it, bro? Ticking. Clock's ticking, bro. Down to WrestleMania. You re WrestleMania. Yeah. No, uh, uh, Coney Mania, 2012. It's the first one. It's not 28, but it's the first one. April 20th, cover the night. Yeah. Anyway, fuck that. This is a wrestling preview. Um, we're going to go on here and do the WrestleMania 28 preview because we go ham. Now, WrestleMania, fuck yeah. Yes. Mm. So basically, we're going to start off with the shitty matches, go through, kind of preview them, tell them what you got. Tell us, tell, tell us basically our insight because we know our shit. You know, we're elitist. Um, this is like take eight. Yeah, take eight. That's how elitist we are. We got to be perfect. Dude, we have that Coney entrance, man. That's where it's at. <laughs> we have a down pat right It now. is what it is, people. So here we go. The first match we're going to talk about here is the Maria Menounos and teaming with Kelly Kelly to face even Beth Beth Phoenix. Just, just, just. Uh, God, I hate these women's matches they throw on at WrestleMania cards. They so lower the value of just the overall card to me every year. Oh man, but it's a celebrity match. You gotta be excited for the celebrity match, especially when she breaks her ribs and shit. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't it's, actually do it's this match. It's blonde and, 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 and brown-haired brunette B versus blonde. B. I mean, I like Eve's big old tan titties. Oh, man. Be so just, Eve is just, oh, <laughs> just a huge ass. Just everything about her. And I would let Beth Phoenix dominate me for the win. So, basically, that's all we care about is what things we would do to them if we were given the opportunity. Uh, we Can really do. Kelly not so much too fast. Kind of cross-eyed. Said this Dude, just when she, if she was down sucking my dick, she just, I don't know what she'd be looking at. Like, <laughs> she look up at me. I think she'd be looking at two other people. Absolutely not. So next, uh, we really don't give a shit about that match or who wins. Hopefully not the uh, celebrities because they should not be winning matches. I'd rather watch Mark Briscoe do the weather. Mm, which actually happened. Find it on YouTube. So, here we go. Where it's uh, lightning in. Where it's lightning in. So basically... Tornadian tornadoed in. <laughs> that match is going to be a tornado. It's going to be a wreck. Go ahead. Absolutely. So next week we got Kane versus uh, Randy Orton here. Randy Orton seems to think that this match has drawn more interest, or fans are more interested in it, than uh, Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus. Um, as I can see where he's coming from, where he means people, you know, Randy Orton is more of a, me a mega star in wrestling than Daniel Bryan and Sheamus is. But overall quality, Daniel Bryan and Sheamus should just annihilate this match. I yeah. would expect this to be like two and a half stars. If I could be serious for a minute. I think Randy Absolutely Orton Landstorm. and Kane is going to terribly suck. It's going to terribly suck. I mean, nobody's like, oh yeah, Randy Orton in a match. Ooh, gotta buy the show. No, just it. No, nobody's it's buying it for that. But I think not, people. Not, no, I, I mean, think there's I think, fans I think maybe of a Randall. People could buy it for Dan Bryan, Sheamus. Nobody I think there's it. fans of Randall Keith Orton that are willing. He's to. a megastar. He wishes he was the Rock, but he's also a long bitch. But he wishes he could face the Rock. I should say. Probably. He's but um, I gotta go with Kane or not Kane winning. I, I, Kane probably just shouldn't win, but he he may. I got Randy Orton winning by uh, embracing the hate. Embracing the hate. See, I've been, embra been embracing some cake. Hey, Randy Orton? No, man, look. No, I'll just uh, say Randy Orton. Embracing that cake. Dude. So, uh, yeah, don't really care too much about that either. Uh, you, do, I, mean, I mean, do you like Randy Orton's cake? Absolutely not. Let's go to the next match. <laughs> um, next match, we have Big Show versus um, Cody, Rhodes. Cody Rhodes here for the Intercontinental title. I really get the feeling this could be good. I th <laughs> Nice, don't have that song anymore. Um, yeah. I actually, I actually could see that um, uh, Big Show kind of is tired of being embarrassed at WrestleMania and doing, making him do stupid stuff. Sumo matches, boxing matches, never in elite matches in the show. It's an Intercontinental match. You know what they say about Intercontinental title? Workhorse. When you think workhorse, you, you think show. you think Big Show, right? You think well, you think horse. <laughs> I don't know if you think work. <laughs> you I know. Mean. Cody that's, Rhodes. That's horse. not what I was thinking of. Like Big Show, Mark. Here, these are two horses: a black <laughs> horse and a white horse, just going at it. And just the horses suplexes. Just, just black, the other can, horse off the ring. Can I call break. Mark Henry Black Beauty? Is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The Intercontinental Title is a war horse title. I think Cody Rhodes can pull a pretty good match out of Big Show. You know, here. What is what was his nickname? The Silverback. Uh, something to do with gorillas. Pretty pretty racist. Yeah, no, it sounds like a slave. Like he's a <laughs> silverback. Like he pulls all the shit. No, you know what a silverback is? It's a gorilla. God, you don't know shit about nothing. He's black as hell. Bro. Anyway, this match here I think could be good. I think Cody Rhodes win. Uh, well, actually, I could see Big Show win here, get his defining moment. It's not going to be like Mick, Mick Foley getting speared 
No, 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 no. But I think I think Big Show. I mean, he, I, Big Show's never won anymore. anything at WrestleMania. He's never won a title or anything. Yeah. So I could see I, I could see him winning Intercontinental title here and making a, and making a, a big moment at WrestleMania for him. I would expect this to be pretty solid. So I mean, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I think I think Cody Rhodes is gonna win here. I think it wasn't even like the longest Intercontinental. It wasn't like not the longest, but he's held top like seven. Yeah, he's, and he's actually had a pretty decent reign. Like he's actually defended it a couple times. There are a couple times where I thought he was gonna lose. The big one was where he faced John Morrison impromptu, and so he, he's done well for himself. And you know, I, I think he needs to lose though to take the next step. I see that, but and see I that can, happened with Dolph, and he's kind of stuck too. So, dude, fucking WWE just screwed up with Dolph like a big time. So but far. whatever. He's I back mean, into like mid card almost. I don't know. I think I see Big Show winning the Intercontinental title here. I think it's gonna give him his moment. He's kind of kind of like a Kane McFoley deal where they give him something he deserves. So. Next, we got Team Eddie versus Team Johnny. Did you call him Team? You said Team Eddie. <laughs> See, you're messing was, up worse than Lord. That was that was John Laurinaitis right there. You dude. pulled a John Teddy, Laurinaitis. Bro. I can't even remember who's on. I all can't get my black people right, dude. I mean Eddie Eddie Gordo from like Tekken and like Teddy Long. Just really That's weird. not even a close match at all. I just I said I just I, I mix up my black people just, sometimes. Just yeah, it makes no sense. So here with this Team Teddy versus Team uh, Johnny. I really can't remember. It makes sense, though, because Kofi Kingston's kind of like Eddie Gordo. Yeah, no, we're, this is going <laughs> to turn into a really racist video if you don't just stop. Um, so here we go. Uh, I, can't, I can't really remember off the top of my head in what order for a reason, both teams. But, oh, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Dolph Ziggler, Jack Swagger, Mark Henry, Christian. Well, it's now it's Drew McIntyre. Yeah, it took Christian out. The Miz and David Otunga. It's funny, he's the leader, and he's like the least known guy. And then yeah, another team, it's Santino Morella, Kofi, Kofi R-Truth, fucking... Kali. Booker T. Booker T, and, uh, fuck. <laughs> what other person? We can't remember him. Son of a bitch. It was, no, it's not Teddy Biasi. Um, Is it a big guy? Yeah, I can't, I can't remember, bro. It doesn't matter. All that matters is I think the heel team's gonna win here. Um, I definitely see. This I definitely think Laurinaitis, his team is gonna win because he's gonna go on. Let's have a moment of silence for um, Christian here, starting off the yeah, worst, I'm so upset. worst of his career probably and ever, um, going from being in a match then being injured to pretty much falling off the face of earth to having that haircut he had on Raw, which looked very bad. I'm just glad they didn't put Del Rio in a match. Mr. I, Mr. I'm in the man. I really want to go in there and break arms and shoot on people, but then I realized it's I don't just know if you wrestling. I don't know if you heard. Um I said silence. Just a moment of silence for Christian. Alright, that's enough. Oh last member Zach Ryder. Zach Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> See I told you that my moment of silence was meant for something. Uh, I wanted yeah. to do it during the moment of silence. Gotcha. The, the heel team I think wins here. Uh, I don't I think I see Teddy Long possibly Taking the, you know, getting out of there. He's been in there as this role. He can't remember his lines sometimes. He looks very awkward in acting positions. It's Axana's fault. It's not his fault. Hopefully they keep Axana. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's Axana's fault. It, oh, it's Axana. I thought you said it's his fault. I, it's his fault, actually. He's just terrible. He's staring at Booby. It's just not. But so is Laurinaitis. I would love to see a debate between the two. Yeah, well, on the Laurinaitis fly. is like, Miz, welcome to Team Teddy. They should just, like, like flipped it, like, actually have Miz on okay. Team Teddy just Here, to fuck around. Here's what I want to ask you guys What do you think would be more entertaining? Team Johnny versus Team Teddy, or a 15-minute verbal debate between Laurinaitis and Teddy Long, improv. I think I think that I think the I think Teddy Long and, and it kind of be like Jim Cornette and Zandig from Ring of Honor CZW War, except for just ten hundredth show. Hours. That that was funny. I thought it was funny. That was funny. <clears throat> this would not be. It would be PG. I, I, I understand that, but I think it would be hilarious because they would stumble over the words a whole bunch. And it would be fucking hilarious because it would be improv and they wouldn't know what to say. They all only say like 10 minutes. I mean, play up. It's like Teddy's go to word. Lorenz doesn't have a go to word. That means Lorenz probably loses. I mean, I don't care. So, um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about that. Um, I don't expect that to be that great. Finally, now, going to be getting into the meat of this pay per view here. No, not like Big Show. But uh, was that the first four matches? Okay, next. So we have. Well, let's go with Sh let's go Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. Um, I think this world heavyweight championship. Yes, I I would expect this to be good. I think since they got like I said, I said this numerous times on other videos. Since they got snubbed last year, I think, and they're now they're in the world heavyweight title match. If they get 13 minutes, I think it'll be damn good. Five minutes. You think? Come on. Possibly. How's it gonna be five I, I, minutes? I hope we're gonna get ten to twelve. Jericho wanna, Edge got 15. 
Oh, it just doesn't matter, dude. They want to give like those big three matches at the end time, so I feel like everything else is gonna be like cut out. Like if you, I've, I've looked up a lot of past WrestleMania cards and like the time for matches. Only usually like three matches get a lot of time, and then the rest are kind of like ten mm-hmm. minutes and under. Well, I, so think, I think this is gonna be one of those matches. I think Sheamus wins. No, without a shadow of a doubt, Sheamus wins here, and I think it's, I think it's legit. I don't think he. I, I think he wins clean. I think Daniel Bryan gives him a good match, and I think you're in the 99 percent time. I know, right? I mean. You know, it makes sense. Why Me would you too. have? Why would you have? Dan- I mean, I'd love to see Daniel Bryan retain, but I highly doubt it. But see, Del Rio. I'm just Del Rio won the Royal Rumble. AJ. I hope she's wearing. Del Rio won the Royal Rumble last year, faced Edge, and lost. That's true. So Sheamus could lose. Hopefully, it's not a cheat, but hopefully, AJ doesn't help him cheat, and then kind of gets screwed. But I expect good things out of this. When has AJ helped him cheat? Like, I, I, like, actually, like, purposely helped him. Cheat. Okay, never, but still, he's ha- brought her and used her to get wins and shit. So, I could see that. I think he just likes making out with her on camera. Probably. He's an excellent lover. AJ, AJ or Eve? I don't, I don't know. How about, how about, how about this? Brian. How about this? How about this? Having AJ Styles do the spiral tap to you or touching AJ Lee's face? AJ Lee's Probably. Probably. All over that shit, dude. Probably. Wasn't even actually thinking. We were just thinking about touching AJ Lee's <laughs> Oh, God. Random. So, yeah, pretty much, what did you say? Jameis wins, 99 percentile. I'm, I'm with that. I'm not, I'm not a 1 percenter. I'm not a Chucky T. Gotcha. All right, so next we got the what we'll see upon Chris Jericho. I, I really, really hope this storyline's been so jumbled around. I really, really hope I, that they... Produce a great match here because I know oh, they dude, can. They said it was going to be the best. Ever. They said it was going to be the best wrestling match in WrestleMania. Yes. I I really hope it's as good as they keep saying it's going to be, and um, I would expect this to be good here. So, I wonder if uh, Randy Orton makes his match in this. I don't probably. probably. I mean, you gotta think this match. Randy Randy Randy, or, Randy Orton's ego is the size of, is the size of his earth. It's definitely bigger than AJ's boobs. Absolutely. But uh, I'm gonna go with CM Punk here retaining. Wait, wait, just the size of Missouri? I'm pretty sure it's like bigger than the whole Midwest. Randy Orton's ego? Yeah. Or AJ Lee's boobs? <laughs> AJ Lee's boobs aren't that fucking Dude, big. you don't know what you're talking about. Let's get into this. Chris Stratus's boobs. Maybe. CM Punk retains here. Um, I don't see no reason for Chris Jericho to win. I know that apparently Chris Jericho signed for some more time. He better damn well hope he retains because if he doesn't, he's gonna start drinking. According to Chris Jericho, I know, Chris right? Jericho always tells me. Would they really run like a drug deal, like a drug binge, alcoholic? Like what if he turns story? into like Jeff Hardy and he starts having like a minute and a half made events, like? But it's purposely like. I really don't think. I really don't think Jeff. Or not Jeff. Or, I really don't think CM Punk would be down with that whole idea. What if CM Punk drug? Wait. What, hey, what, what if we finish this video? What your if Chris ideas Jericho? Are stupid. What if Chris Jericho drugs CM Punk before the match? Like put something in. That's the, water? the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Let's great. finish. Go ahead. Who do you think wins? I think CM Punk wins. Absolutely. All right, let's go on to <laughs> the next match. Um, go Triple H versus Undertaker, Hell in the Cell. I think probably, in my opinion, I think might quite possibly be the best match of the weekend. You can't say quite possibly. It, it is on your list. It is number one. It is number one, and I think a lot because a lot of people are still are thinking now that Undertaker is going to retire and Triple H might retire, but then they keep they're setting up stuff maybe for Triple H versus. Shawn Michael. Who knows what they're gonna do? I, honestly, I, I know they say it's bad for or good for business to have Undertaker around to continue, but Undertaker is just getting old. I don't think he can produce the same matches, same great four and a half. Just have one match a year. Yeah, but the, it, it's one of those things where like, okay, you've been out of the ring so long. Do you still have it after a year? He gets to rest, and, and, but he but he gets to keep in shape by fucking Michelle McCool like for ten months. Like you don't think he can come in and produce? I don't think match. it happens as much as you think it happens. But I, I would expect... <laughs> you don't think he's, he's just tapping that every night? I think this match here could be his last great match if, it, if it's not his last match. Because I just... Uh, I really just... I don't You're know. You're so torn by this match. I am. And I, and I really think it's going to be really good. Just because of the whole storyline aspect and the storytelling. These guys have wrestled for years and they carry that old banner of being... Those guys can really do that storytelling of you know the Attitude Era and a match will really draw you in. That's what I see out of this match. I won't. I don't expect great athletic moves. I expect old school WWF early, you know, early two thousands, late nineties like style. I hope to see blood. I hope Shawn Michaels 
Um, adds to the storyline. I hope there's some shenanigans, but I don't want it to ruin the match. Cause I, I want to ask questions for down there. Does blood actually add to your enjoyment? I don't know if people mean because I think for, for me for blood feuds, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, but there there are also promotions that have like blood every match. Like, I gotta add some color. There was for a while, and TNA was have TNA TNA was having um, Ric Flair bleeding every match. I mean, I think I don't think he, they meant to on purpose. I think he just just bleeds, just he gets touched in the face. Just po- just kind of just touch him. Just he bleeds. bleeds. Just starts just gushing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a, he's like just a all over. The he's place. like a uh, just a. Some mushy black banana. How does he not have AIDS by now? Like, he doesn't really need to be a I don't know, man. I'm sure he's played basketball with Magic Johnson once or twice. <laughs> They're probably friends. Well, I mean, Nate the Carter wants to see blood, so, you know, you can follow him on his YouTube channel. He's Whoever that guy is. He's got no um, So, anyway, finally, main event Rock versus Cena. He thinks it's going to be the best match of the weekend. Um, Dude, it's, I mean, it's going to be the best match in the history of history, according to the Rock versus Cena, like, biotopic, like, hour long documentary. Um, and I tend to believe I'm going to go on I may do a video on my own channel about this um, possibly the night uh, before Wrestlemania um, that I think the crowd has to be here for this match oh definitely it absolutely has to be there for the match if the crowd is not into this this match fails. I'm going to just take a big crap all over This it. match this Didn't match Chris fails. Jericho say it's going to be like the biggest match in history, in history? He's like a truthful man. He's he is true. Man. But if the crowd it's is not there, if the crowd is not CM Punk, John Cena, Chicago. I think the only problem is it's, it's in a big fail. stadium, so it's going to be hard to recreate that magical crowd because it's, 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 it's I open. I think it's possible. It's I think open. It's possible. If, if they do, it's going to be crazy. But I would it's expect be this. Hogan. I, rem- I just remember reading here recently that um, The Rock and both Cena – Made statements that they are willing, that they're wanting to this this to be a classic match, and it's not about the money. Do you believe that? I mean, I don't think they. I think they're worried point, about it. Being they make a enough money match. that they don't really they don't really need to worry about money. I think they want to be be timeless. They want something to create people go back and they're like, oh man, that was just really something special. Like people ten years from now, even though it wasn't a great match, remember Rock Hogan because it was just like it was a special moment between two icons, and I kind of feel like. This is the same thing, except for Cena. It's nowhere near on the level that Rock was at the time. Rock was probably not near on the level that Hogan was. Now, here, Rock made an interesting point. One of the most interesting points that he said in all of the promos he's done, and I I really made this point made a lot of sense, and I really liked that he said this. Um, He said of each generation, some people would consider Rock bigger than Stone Cold. I don't think so. I think Stone Cold revolutionary. He revolutionized the whole... Business Wait, later. Rock said he, he was bigger than Stone Cold? No, no, no. Some people seem to think The Rock is bigger than Stone Cold. But I think if you look at the, the, the generations, you go Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, Johnson. That's the way it goes. You know, and he was making the point of, for him to become the greatest superstar of all time and, and blow people's minds, he beat Stone Cold at WrestleMania, he beat Hogan at WrestleMania, he has to beat John Cena. Could be the greatest of all time. You think he wins this, this match against John Cena that if makes this him... Helps him? That's another point we need to make. Thing we've Possibly. Already did a video on it. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So. We didn't. You didn't even say Miz was on Team. Yeah, I did. You I did? put him in there before Otunga because I thought uh, he was before Otunga. Whatever. But anyway, Just, um, here's still Otunga. Still. <laughs> that horrible, horrible music. Just yeah. Dude, you know what? You know what? You know what? David Otunga's turning into, for me. Shawn Benjamin. No, no, turning in for me. That's compared for you. He's turning into my Mike Bennett. The dude's gonna be huge. Do you think he has softer skin than Showman? You said Showman was really soft. Skin. I'm not talking about Showman. I'm talking about Mike Bennett. I know. I'm just saying. Do you think he? Do you think David Otunga has softer skin? I've than never Shulman touched skin? David Otunga. Would you think he would have soft? I skin? think Jennifer Hudson has soft skin. Would you touch her? Absolutely. Would you rather touch her boobs or AJ Lee's boobs? Probably, probably Jennifer Hudson's. Is it because she's not single? I mean, it's no, it's single. because she has really nice boobs, and they're better than AJ's. It's that. You, it's that. you have never seen him naked. No, I'm just saying she has she's a, she's a voluptuous. Anyway, interesting rant there. Let us know what you guys think. Which boobs would you rather touch, AJ Lee or Jennifer Hudson? Or comment. mine, or my boobs. <laughs> Thumbs up. Fifteen right. likes, he'll dance. Fifteen, and he'll shave his head. Nope. Oh, completely bald. Hundred subscribers in the next month. Oh, shit. Fifteen likes. Nope. He's a bitch. He won't do it. Yep. We'll see. So wait, wait, but do you want to add in how you you who you would rather if you could pick one like group people to watch us more than you would watch me? Um, could you add in take like six or seven? Six or seven? What are you talking about? Oh, 
yeah, yeah. In our room. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A buck in my bucket list. On my bucket list, one of my things to do is watch WrestleMania with the cast of the guys from Workaholics. Look it up. Google it. You don't know what that means. Workaholics. Workaholics. Yeah. WrestleMania. I think it'd be fucking hilarious. Oh. So let's know what you guys think. We're gonna get out of here. Do you watch Workaholics? Comment, comment. Workaholics. Workaholics. If you do, know. comes back May nineteenth. Mm. Oh, not 19th. It's May, like May, May, oh, sorry, May 29th, Comedy Central. So it goes Watch like this. It. it goes WrestleMania, Coney 2012, Cover the Night, and then Workaholics. Workaholics. There we go, bro. We're going to be busy. So we're going to get out of here. Let this us know this video say. goes ham. It goes ham. Tell us how ham it goes. YOLO. Nice YOLO, son. We're out of here. Deuces.